Hello there, and welcome back to the Pale Beyond. We are ready to suffer yet again. Let's get to some requests and see what we have for the day. <laughs> this lovely, lovely evening. <laughs> Days are getting darker, Captain. Crew's been asking about you. <laughs> Crew can stop fucking asking things is what they can do. <laughs> Crew's been asking about using more oil to fuel the lamps. I told them to piss off, but I figured I should ask you. You're a, you're a good man. You're a good man. I just, I love him so much. Well, implied is not an unreasonable request. That oil's for the boiler. It's more important than making dinner brighter. Yeah. Also makes it easier to do their work, Mr. Hammond. Aye, well, it's the captain's decision. Ugh. Ah. They'll make do with what they have. The furnace comes first. Give the crew what they want. I won't hear the end of it otherwise. No, I I think... I think they need to piss off. I don't give a shit. <laughs> we don't have the oil to be doing the shit with, okay? And I know, I know it's about to happen. People are about to get real pissy about it, but they can get over it. <laughs> They'll make do with what they have. Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's literally nothing. <laughs> Now I can tell them it's captain's orders if they come sniffing around again. They can stop sniffing around the goddamn furnace. They ain't got no business touching it. <laughs> captain Templeton, I won't keep you both too long. After dinner, we should have a discussion about the future direction of this crew. Uh, I suppose we should consider moving camp closer to the direction of rescue. Indeed. As for when that should be, well, we'll talk later. Very well. Hmm. I was wondering, like, what is our plan exactly here? <laughs> uh, the, the captain gets up and he uh, he asks, like, "Hey, so uh, what's what's everybody's what's what's the, pl what's the plan here? What are we uh, what are we doing?" <laughs> but I'm just like, you know, like, what are we doing? Where what are we are we gonna work our way more over here? Are we gonna like try and get to the viscount? I don't. <laughs> I mean, what if it's what if it's right there? What if the Viscount is still available and it's seaworthy? I mean, that's insane. That's literally insane. But like, what if it is? <laughs> what if it is? <laughs> okay, we have two people that are freezing. That needs to not happen. That needs to not happen. We can't have that. So she needs fuel for the week. Cures crew of freezing. I just I want to cure a random person of freezing. I need that. I need that bad. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put two engineers on it. Um, fix, fix, fix them. Th fix them, if you would. Heal that freezing. Heal your freezing. You're, you're fine. You're fine, man. You're fine. Everybody's fine. Okay. Who did I have that got the scurvy? You've got the scurvy. Hey, Adrian, why do you have the scurvy? Why did you let that happen? <laughs> Everybody that gets the scurvy, they die. So why did you? Why did you let that happen? <laughs> really like if you wouldn't let that die. I just don't, I just don't want that. Okay. I need, I need, I need, I need more medical comforts because medical comforts are great. <laughs> They're really good. They help me not cry. <laughs> uh, yep, you make those. We're good, we're good. <laughs> I, I am very much in a mode of like the ship is sinking and I'm just, I'm staying calm as it sinks. <laughs> And I just, I do the best I can with what I have. <laughs> I just feel like I don't have enough crew to do all of the things that I need to do to get the resources to keep the crew going. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, food. That's a thing that you guys like. You enjoy that. We've got like a good amount, I think. That's like an amount that is an amount. The bad thing is that I think I'm going to have to throw them right in the furnace. Because <laughs> I have a little bit of uh, timber left from the temperance. It's about to go away. And the only other thing I have to burn is also what we eat, which is cool. <laughs> That's very cool. It's very cool. Um, uh, okay. We need to go out. We need to go out. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like this. This is learning experience, right? This, this is what we're really doing here. We're learning. Um, let me find the Adelaide. I need more research. Um, 
I really should be getting research to get those because the when I got that last time, it just let me get food directly. And that was really useful. I'd like to send more, but I think I'm just going to send you. Miss Glossom, mark down the hunt for the week. Okay, okay. We need to scout more. We have not scouted enough. I don't know where any food is. I don't know where any food is. Um, so Flick. Flick, you're gonna you're gonna go get us some food. Oh, you got some. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay. I just wish that they would not freeze when they go out. That would make me so happy. <laughs> you were uh, you were sad last time. You were kind of yeah. I mean, you, you you've all been sad at this point. I've gotten all of you sad. <laughs> it just just happens. Uh, yeah. I want to just send two out. I think that's good, right? That's that's what we want. <laughs> I just feel like I'm making a mistake every second of every day. <laughs> um, do I send another scout out? I think I should because I don't have food and they're not, I'm gonna be putting more in the pot and then the fuel that I'm getting back. So I really need to send more out. Um, I guess go that way. <laughs> Suppose it doesn't really matter which way. They're seemingly oh oh it's a little baby one. It's a little puppy. Go get him. <laughs> Fucking eat him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get those baby penguins. Get them. One four. Why? Um. Can I not? Is this not cool? I don't understand. Um. Oh, I don't have enough dogs. Okay. I was, I was confused. I'm like, why Why can't I go? <laughs> the crew sat on the sled, and there's like a single dog just just staring back up at them happily. <laughs> Open mouth, lolling tongue. <laughs> I'm like, why aren't we going? <laughs> um, do I have any fish I can give you? I do have fish I can give you, and that will give me just enough that I can send more out, which is good, which is very good. Because I need more next time. Um, send you and you. I want lots of penguins. I'm going to eat a whole bunch of them. They're very cute, but they're very delicious. Tashi and Tucker are marked down the hunt for the week. Good, 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 good. I have one person with scurvy. Um, that needs to be fixed. That needs to be fixed. We can't have that. We cannot have that. We have to fix it now. Right now. <laughs> we must. And I can't do that because I just sent whoever it was to go do something, I bet. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? No, no, it was Kelsey. I didn't send you out. I didn't. I didn't make that stupid mistake. Okay, rest. Rest, my son. Rest, my son. Um, um. I could use a medical comfort to fix him. I don't think I need to because I don't think I have anything that I need him to do, right? I don't think I do. Um. But he's good. I'm gonna put stuff in the pot, which I have, and the furnace, which I have. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> Keep our luck, Captain. Um, how am I gonna do? What? What? Where are we? Where are we gonna put where? I have one timber that will fill up the furnace a bit, not a lot, but a bit. Um, so the Emperor penguins—they are better for hoosh. Yeah, they're more filling for hoosh, but they're both got plus six for the furnace. So if I'm gonna throw one of these in the furnace, I should throw the crab eater seals in there. Um, some f uh, six, twelve, eighteen. Uh, throw them all in there, I guess. I think going through all of them today, aren't I? Yeah, I think I am. Because it is one, seventeen, six, twelve, eighteen. It's just, it's not much. It's not much. Uh, feed the furnace. Uh, you go in there, and then uh, you go in there. And there. Okay. Plus 41. That's getting us about back up to full. Awesome. I think that's good. And then I'll put all of the penguins into the pot. <laughs> they go right in the pot. There we go. There we go. And then pot. <laughs> Damn, if only I had all this knowledge before. <laughs> that's what's gonna... Oh. oh, you eat so much, people. You eat so much. Where are you putting it? I put like four fucking penguins in there and you're just fucking starving still. I mean, that 
that's what that is. So uh, that's that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> I don't want to put any of the nasty ass fish in there because they keep making it worse when I do. Extra food, awesome, love it, love it. This is fine. This is very fine. This is totally workable. <laughs> Half the crew is dead, but that's fine. It's nothing. The crew after meal. Okay. The crew returned to the post, despite the time. It's still bright light outside. That's whatever. Get used to it. it. Happens. Um. Yeah. Anything to say, or you still hate me? Okay. Yeah. He just doesn't even say anything anymore. He's not interested. Which is, I guess, I understand. But like. We could still be on speaking terms. Come, Josephine, in my flying machine. <laughs> ah, apologies, the tune has not left my head in weeks. <laughs> At the very least, I found a manner to calm the pack. Hmm. Could make a request to Grimley. I'm sure he could learn the song. Yeah. Perhaps. But no, I will not intrude upon their nightly entertainment. I'm certain it is not something the crew would much care for. I don't think they'll give a shit at all. I think they'll be totally fine with it. The dogs need the rest, as do I, as do you. We all need our rest, don't we? We all need our rest. <laughs> we all may have a very long rest. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a night, see you for breakfast. I wonder if that is because their loyalty is so low. They've been saying the same thing for me for a couple weeks now, whereas before they were actually kind of opening up to me and talking to me about interesting things, like about themselves and stuff. I'm betting it's because all those people died off and they got pissed on me. They just, they pissed and they're like, I don't want to fucking talk to you. You're a piece of shit. You let all these people die. I did. <laughs> I did. I made, I did what's called stupid decisions that snowballed and got worse. <laughs> you wish to speak with us, Kurt? Indeed I did. Have you noticed anything about the ground beneath our feet, Captain? Um... <laughs> it's not, it's not about to open up, is it? Not immediately, no. We are looking at the early stages of this ice breaking apart. If we don't want to join the dear old temperance, we'll need to be moving out within the week. Is that so? If we start packing from tomorrow, we'll be safe to move on at the beginning of next week. Any longer than that, we'll be dipping our toes in the water. Ooh, I don't want that, I don't want that. Well, it is inevitable that we should keep constant movement. Even ignoring the changing ice, our rescue vessel will not be searching for us here. Yeah, they <laughs> they ain't gonna go out here for us. It, it is little ice. Yeah. Yeah. Can't risk what lies beyond this camp. We stay here. We can't risk what lies beyond this camp. Are you just saying, like, you, what, what, I don't. I don't understand that. Like, what? what's your fucking plan? <laughs> if you... They literally told you that the ice is gonna, like, eventually thaw and open up and swallow you. What do you What do you plan on doing if you say that? I, don't, I, I would just say, yeah, get, get the word out. <laughs> we leave in a week. I will, Captain. To stay as death, we're moving on. Thank you, Kurt. Have a good evening, Templeton. Captain. Wish the ice could have been a bit more fucking quick. <laughs> fucking broke my ship. And then, and then it's gonna open right back up, right afterward, bastard. We'll have to move camp within the coming week. All right, we're around here any longer, it won't be swallowed up. Captain Shaw has been cautious, and we are still set to match the arrival of rescue. Aye, right, let's not waste any more bloody time. The boiler can't last forever. How is this gonna work exactly? How are we gonna move all of this? Are we just gonna, cause like, uh, we got a lot of big stuff. I mean, I know we were able to get it off the temperance, but that's one thing. Like, how, how are you gonna move that shit? <laughs> you gonna... Uh, we got some dogs, but we ain't got that many dogs. <laughs> I don't think they can move that. But all right, I think we're good. I think we're pretty good. Move on, see what happens. I don't think anybody's dying, so that's, that's a good change of pace, I suppose. <laughs> uh... Let's see. I just wish that I could have none and people would be fine, you know? Hmm. I could stand that. Nobody's currently freezing. I could just run it a little bit less tonight. I think I kind of want to. Like, for two... I mean, that's... If I run it half now, 
that's less seals I gotta throw in there next time. Yeah, I think that's a better way to do it. Run that half. Um, will be cured. One person will get freezing, but I can fix that. I can get more, uh, what is the math exactly on that? So if like one person, if, if there's one person I can't send out because they have freezing, they probably get one animal and one is worth like nine at most. So yeah, actually, yeah, that math works out. If one person gets freezing, I can fix them a lot easier than if I sent like it, keeping them in because the one extra that that person could potentially be getting me is not worth what I'm going through. I think. <laughs> I think I think that math is mathing. Uh, yeah, we're good. One available crew. One research. Gnomes and Lefty return from hunting with seals. The dogs are rested and available. Yeah, I know, I know. You all fucking freeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. You're wounded. The fucking seal come up to you and bite you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Well, there's a lot of, a lot of freezing, but that's... It's just freezing. It's just freezing. It's just the goddamn cold. They'll get over it. They will get over it. <laughs> I'm gonna start understanding this game like right at the point where it's the most dire and <laughs> desperate is what it's gonna be. So what? Oh yeah, move to the next camp. Okay. So what all are we gonna be taking here? <laughs> I guess we'll see. After a hard morning dragging the boats, the crew comes across deeper snow ahead. Captain, the snow on the ice is getting deeper. We'll need to find a better path before dragging the whole crew through it. I'll be happy to take up the reins. Best we leave that to one of your scouts, Mr. Darling. The ice behind us is encroaching. We needn't lag behind a man with a cane. The old limp isn't that bad, Templeton. <laughs> it's bad enough. Time is of the essence. Very well. <laughs> you can't go wrong with my team, anyway. Any of them are capable of finding the path in the ice. Captain, if you want to judge the course yourself, you should go ahead with them. Ill-advised. We don't know what lies ahead. Best not to take any unnecessary risks. Um... I mean, I trust them. I, I trust them. Hmm... But with them... Hmm... Is this a test of them wanting to see if the captain is willing to charge into danger. <laughs> if I stay behind, will the crew look at me like, mm, okay, <laughs> coward. Um, well, if it's just a matter of like their loyalty to me, both of these people are pretty loyal. So I don't think we're in any danger there. Um, I don't know what lies ahead. Best not to take any unnecessary risks. I'm gonna head with them. I kind of want to see what it is. Yeah, yeah it, let's say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They both like me. Um, Quilzy, let's go. <laughs> First one up. Quilzy, you're with me. Let's go. You and Quilzy trudge your way further ahead, keeping an eye out for dips in the snow that could damage the boats. It isn't long before you hear, hear a sound from ahead where the ice is thinner. Oh. That, sound, that sounds like a thing that you should stop at. From ahead where the ice is thinner. Right? That's a that's a stop, right? <laughs> Ooh! The eggshell surface of the flows erupt, revealing a large slimy creature, mouth agape with flies or files of razor sharp teeth expectant. Leopard seal! That's not good. I use uh I shot uh I bolt action rifle him away. I use my experience from Call of Duty and I fucking destroy him. <laughs> you grab the rifle and steady it as you aim towards the beast barreling towards Quil Quilzy. The beast continues unhindered. Fear mixes with snow, freezing Quilzy in space. Um, I don't want to miss. Missing is death. The animal's gang speed closing the distance. How close was he? That's like miles, although he did move very quick. Kind of fire. <laughs> you crack the rifle and the bullet flies, piercing the flesh of the sea leopard, but the beast continues to charge despite its injuries. There's now about 10 yards between Quilzy and the beast. Reload. <laughs> Re reload. You jam the bolt back and forth, reloading the weapon. The animal charges into Quilzy, knocking them over in the snow. Oh no. I mean, I, I have to. I fire. There we shot the, the shotgun next. The beast drops lifeless on the ice. 
inches from Quilzy, shaken but alive. Oh, you, you bet your ass I'm harvesting it. Of course I am. <laughs> I'm not leaving that shit behind. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm glad I went with him. That would have been, uh, that would have been really grim if he went out just, just to find his way through the ice and then the fucking seal eats him in front of us. That would have been grim. <laughs> it takes two dog sledding teams to drive the ice onto stable ice. After processing and packing the seal leopard's meat, a trove of undigested fish is found inside its stomach cavity. Yum! Um... I mean, I can give the fish to the dogs later. So there's no... I mean, I guess I could give it to them now. Um... I'll just take it. We can't afford to waste any food out here. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I can give it to them later. It's fine. Oh! That was, uh, according to Achievement, that was Act 1. <laughs> One week at second camp. Hmm, lovely. <laughs> Captain Shaw, personal log. A new camp has been erected on the ice floe. The, pro the prospect of land is still far off from here. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Um... Captain Hunt's a bastard. <laughs> Tracks were found in the snow, a frozen coat. Proof that if nothing else, Hunt and his group were able to survive beyond the boiler incident aboard the Temperance. Ooh, that's interesting. It's too late to raise concerns now. The crew may whisper, but Rufus Hunt is a dead man. <laughs> I, I have to commend Hunt. He's uh, hardier than first believed. He is also a piece of fucking shit. <laughs> Rufus Hunt further proves himself to be a man of many surprises, to have made it as far as he had. It almost fills the crew with hope in regards to their own chances. If Hunt and his band of deserters are able to carry on against the elements, then that should be the truth for the rest of the crew in turn. Hmm. The Temperance. <laughs> the Temperance went under, finally consumed by the ice. <laughs> she will be missed. The old vessel had become a home for the crew. Even when trapped in the ice, it served as a constant presence, a monument to the world we traveled from, the world that was left behind. To see it go weighed heavily upon the crew. I want to talk about all this. The crew were ambushed by a leopard seal whilst moving camp. It was fortunate that all managed to escape with their lives. Mm hmm. <laughs> we survived because we were prepared. It was quick thinking and the appropriate resources that went out that day for the crew. That vigilance is to be kept up at all times, lest the crew meet with a true disaster. That leopard seal was but a warning of the dangers that rest on the ice. Piece of shit. Piece of absolute shit. <laughs> By all estimates, it appears that summer has arrived on the ice, a prime occasion for hunting, and a complete respite from the truly freezing temperatures, the worst of which are yet to come. With the arrival of summer comes the promise of winter. We can't be out here that long. We can't. You can't make me. <laughs> I'll, I will leave. I'll go home. Um, I must consult my crew on the best. I, if we're gonna, if we're gonna have to make it through the whole other winter, like, are we out here for a year? What are you talking about? How long do I have to stay here? <laughs> How long do I have to be here? If we're doing a, another winter, shit, we gotta stock up. That's no good. The long night winter will prove the greatest challenge to the crew. The crew must be ready. F <laughs> You're telling me it's not the worst that it's ever going to be? You're telling me that it's been easy thus far? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Is that what dread words you're dripping into my ears? <laughs> the crew must be ready lest they be torn apart by unlivable temperatures, a lack of food, and the harsh cutting blizzards yet to come. Okay. I thought that, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what I know. <laughs> I just thought I would, I thought I would live. <laughs> oh, I thought I would live. Miss Gloss. That beast was quite the specimen. I wonder if we'll encounter another of its kind. Fucking hope not. Hammond, what do you want, Captain? Close one yesterday, wasn't it? Let's hope there aren't any more beasties looking to make dinner of us. Yeah. I'd say so. <laughs> I don't want to be eaten. 
The dogs have been on edge since that creature attacked. They prefer to be the hunters on the ice. Let us hope we never see a repeat of the situation. I just can't believe that any of them are hunters at all. They're just so perfect and beautiful and kind. <laughs> I just can't believe. Uh, anybody else? I don't think so. Alright, what do people want? What do you fuckers want? Templeton. Captain. This territory of ice we find ourselves on, it would seem we have our pick of the litter. This ice is teeming with life, life that has never even encountered our like in the past. We're able to hunt to our heart's content. Oh. Hmm. I mean, if that's the case, we should get a lot of food here while we can. I would think, right? <laughs> F food and fuel, either way. Hmm. I mean, I know that. I agree. We should still be cautious, but still. It would seem that way. However, we will not be able to stay here forever. Kurt has left me with his assessment on the coming dangers. This ice is not stable. Uh, put simply, we have the dead ice encroaching behind us, and the risk of a pressure ridge bubbling up and forming ahead of us. We cannot stay for too long lest we find ourselves trapped here. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad you've heaped yet another danger upon me. It's really great that you do that. It makes me happy and feel like I'm having a good time. <laughs> Still, that's a worry for another time. <laughs> it's a worry for another time. Maybe it's next week. Maybe it's the week after that. Maybe it's four weeks from now. Who can say? <laughs> but hopefully you make the right decision and don't doom us all, Captain. <laughs> for now, our main concern is the crew. Um, what, what, what of it? What, they, they have hands, they have feet. What, what's the issue? Your time as captain of this expedition has surpassed that of Captain Hunt, but that is not the case in the eyes of all. Sailor loyalty runs deep in their veins. Take the Stoke Brothers, for instance. They want you to die. <laughs> they voted against you. They still speak of Hunt as the captain and refuse that moniker on you. Every song that Elder One plays on his accordion, they're traditional songs of the sea folk. His loyalty to Hunt is clear as day. I would be careful around those two. All that is needed is one insubordinate with enough pull to lead the crew astray. Yeah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No, I'll note that. I'll note that. <laughs> I'll note that because I've said the exact same thing several times. <laughs> I'm simply stating what we should look out for. Regardless, you have some requests to deal with. They're waiting outside. Of course they fucking are. What do people want? What do you want? What do you want? All right, come in. <laughs> Captain Shaw. <laughs> they come to my tent and I say, What do you want? What do you want? This area is teeming with life. Naive life at that. These creatures have never seen humans before. They don't even know to run. Oh, they're stupid. They're stupid. Take them all. Some will even approach out of curiosity. In my opinion, we should be engaging in hunts as often as possible while we can. Yeah. Uh, agreed. F fully agreed. Cordell exits. All right, Junior, what do you want? Well, despite it all, we've managed to land ourselves a hefty piece of meat, a leopard seal, and the fish in its belly. It's up to you how you prepare it, Shaw. Feasting on the thing would be nice. I'd be sure. Uh... <clears throat> I'm tired of you people wanting to feast constantly every fucking day. I think that shit needs to stop, and I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Um... I mean, it's just one. I'm, I'm presumably gonna send out like several more hunts like this week alone. So whatever, fine. Have it, eat it. Good to hear. Also, uh, my decorum was getting a little low and I was getting kind of concerned. <laughs> I'm sure the crew will be ecstatic. <laughs> the captain fucking brought this for you. <laughs> Slam it on the table. <laughs> Mr. Gloss, Mr. Gloss, what do you want? Captain, I have this bottle of wine in my personal stores. My wife and I plan to enjoy it on our trip home, but it seems that it's much uh, further out than we first believed. So we thought, why not share it with the crew? Ring in the new camp proper. What a kind, kind idea. We're gonna have a fucking feast and wine, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's crazy. Um, 
I don't know that spreading it out will, how, what, what does that mean? Mm. My, th my thought is this is another thing that will bring decorum up if I use it now. I kind of do want that because they're saying we're in an area where there's a lot of food. So I'm just going under the assumption that I'm gonna be able to get this back up. But the decorum is the one I have an issue with because to get that up, I have to start like doubling the rations or like the fuel rations or the food rations. And I do not like doing that. <laughs> that is, that that's my, uh, <laughs> that's my trick of getting through it. So uh, I'm gonna say yes. An excellent idea, thank you. Oh, thanks. Good, good, good. Agreed, a little drink will help raise spirits. Pardon the pun. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, leave. <laughs> leave before anybody else asks something of me. So where are we? Oh, shit. Oh, that's entirely gone. Well, I mean... <laughs> oh. Is that where we would be if I hadn't have moved? Oh... <laughs> you get on the small little iceberg, and it gets smaller and smaller. This totally connects to Viscount Island. Hmm. Yeah, it's just moving closer and closer to it. I mean, I want to go straight north then. Fucking scout this shit out. Quilzy, get on it! Oh my god, it's right there. Available, available for me. Okay. Who, 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 I still have people that are freezing. Before I start sending people out, I need to fix that. Um, the furnace, I'm gonna ask the engineers to raise the heat. He might fix it himself, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, can I put anybody on this? I didn't think so. Did I have another engineer that I completely, that like died earlier? <laughs> <laughs> that might have, that might have happened. I've lost so many, you know, I just start to forget. <laughs> don't tell, don't tell the crew that. Okay. Okay. That healed both of their free- okay. No, they, that, we're so good. We're so fine. We're so fine. There's only one person that's freezing left, Tashi, and that's okay. I'll just, um, I can fix him if I put him in the med bay. That is one less person that's going to out it like get fuel and food and stuff but I think that's okay I think I can deal with that um, nobody even cares everybody's fine everybody's happy really I do need to fix this wound though that is an issue gnomes needs that fixed and freezing and that would be everybody <clears throat> I don't have many sailors left. I seem to have lost many of mine for various reasons. <laughs> but I can fix those two. Um, I guess if I had to, how many medical comforts do I have? I have three still. Do I wanna use that up? Just use one of them up and then immediately send people out? I think I do. Cause I put, um, yeah, those were two of my sailors I'm putting in here. I just, uh, yeah, use that. Use that so I can immediately send them back out to get us more food. <clears throat> Is there anything I can do for the crew? Nope, you just keep being you, lovely. <laughs> you lovely, lovely dear. Uh, okay. I need to feed the hooshpot. Crew need fed for the week. I know, I know. Um, oh. They're small game. They're worth nothing. <laughs> You put them in there and that does nothing. Okay. Oh, shit. The elephant seals cure freezing, too. This giant lesser spotted seal provides a great supply of meat. A great source of blubber generating excellent heat. Large game. Large game, you say. Ooh, it cures demoralization. Great source of blubber, large game. Um... I did tell them that we were going to eat that. So I assume I should put that in there, right? <laughs> I assume. Um. <clears throat> um. They're not freezing, so... 
There's nobody freezing. So I could just use this to get food. I don't think that's a waste. That freezing is really interesting. That secondary effect. But right now, food is the issue. I guess I could use up these ones. And then just keep keep those larger elephant seals in case. Just do that, use all them up. That seems good. I think that's good. You gain zero food. Yeah, 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 it's whatever. Maybe that was a waste, getting that extra of the spices. Maybe you don't really need that. Hmm. Just all of the all of the bad decisions I may have made in the past. Are you just waking now? Couldn't sleep. Scared of another seal attack, eh? I. Well, at least you're honest about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. If I saw that shit, I'd be scared. Oh my god, all my meters are kind of up, and everybody's fine. This is strange. This is very strange. <laughs> this is weird. This is weird. This is weird. Um, scout that one as well. Boop. Uh, research frozen methane. Frozen methane, interesting. Um, I could get more research. How much research do, hang on, how much do I have? Um, I have 19 out of 20, okay. Uh, I definitely want to send one then. I'm thinking, should I send out all of them? <clears throat> Just get a bunch of research. Um, I think I may do that. Because the only other thing I'd have them do is making the medical comforts, but I do have two of those. I'm not hurting for them necessarily. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Mr. Zack, Mr. Gloss, and Mrs. Gloss are marked down to hunt for the week. Okay, and then I want... I guess I can go even further. Do even more scouting. Yeah, why not? Um, that's not really what I was wanting. I was kind of hoping for some bigger food, but I guess that works. <laughs> okay, I need to send people out. Um, I could send all four of you out here. Uh, it's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. Um, I would need to feed the dogs to do this, but I think I'm going to do that. Because I've got some more of the nasty ass fish that everybody hates. Gonna pet you, you tickle it behind the ears. You rub its chin. You rub its belly. It's fuzzy, fuzzy belly. Okay. Food available dogs. That's enough to send them out for another quest. Uh, send that. Send like four of these fuckers. Get all the food you fucking can. Do it. Dashy Numbs, Lefty, and Tucker. Mark down hunt for the week. Good, 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 good. Oh, man. There was just like. I think there's. There's a rough patch in the beginning, but I feel like it's starting to come together. And if I can get a lot of food here, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's all fine. <laughs> Makes me wish I had done things differently in the beginning. It's just, it's weird. Like, I feel like there's hope or something. I don't, <laughs> how quickly things have changed. Um, yeah, call them for dinner. Come everybody, be happy. The crew have their meal. Dinner is shared and stories are traded. Oh, there's a lot of people talking. You're all... It's happy talking, right? <laughs> you make your way towards the main camp, approaching Kurt as he speaks to Nutley. Well, it's not that I find use in it. I understand. I know the struggles of having so much pressure put on you at a young age. So, you're saying you were nervous when you were my age? <laughs> no, no, of course not. I was a six foot five inch hooker in rugby. <laughs> but of course, I can empathize. <laughs> Maybe rugby works very differently than I thought it did. <laughs> you approach and you notice Kasha following close behind you. A few steps back with some hesitation. Kurt's eyes catch you. He calls both of you over. Ah, Captain Shaw. I was just helping our good doctor. Our first trip out on the ice left him shaken and I'm set to calm his spirits. Mm, I'll take more than a pep talk. He is more resilient. He's a good boy. Natalie isn't. He'll be fine. Natalie is noticeably taken aback by your statement. Do, do you really think that? Yes! <laughs> You're my precious doctor. <laughs> I would kill a lot of people to keep you here. <laughs> you make people better, you see. <laughs> That's important here. Of course, I can see it myself. I know a brave man when I see one, and I'm looking at one right now. 
Why, who's behind me? That comment causes Kasha to laugh profusely. <laughs> Why the laughter? Oh, you are serious? Apologies. <laughs> Natalie stares at the floor. <laughs> I probably don't have it in me, not compared to the rest of the crew. The rest? <laughs> N Natalie? Natalie, like a third of the crew's dead, what are you talking about? <laughs> Yes, I look at someone like Hamid rescuing the boiler, how Kasha covered the plagues in the streets, and you with your famous exp expeditions. What do I have? I mean, this? <laughs> You're doing this? <laughs> Kasha steps forward into the conversation. Is that some kind of jape? You're a doctor. You perform surgery. That's brave enough as it is. Oh, thank you. You're a trained surgeon. None of the rest of us can say that. Yeah, exactly. Um... Yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm not like I. I value you, man. You make people just instantly better, and that's really awesome. <laughs> I am. Oh, they're all more loyal. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. Yes, I am. Thank you, Captain Shaw. I. We're all doing a good job of pulling our weight around here. Nellie returns to his tent as Kurt begins to share stories by the campsite with Kasha. The young journalist is keenly taking notes. <laughs> I really wish I didn't lose so many goddamn people in the beginning. <laughs> I wish they were here to share in this merriment. <laughs> you know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You look a bit shaken, Chief. Worried about another attack from some beastie? I worried about one of them getting onto this boiler. <laughs> if it's wrecked, we're done for. Think we should overnight watch them. Or think we should overnight watch them? I'll handle that. I... What? Do you sleep? Do you, like, ever sl Have you slept since we got here? Because it doesn't sound like it. Hmm. He makes me worried. Oh, if you keel over, I don't know what I'm going to do. Evening. That rescue ship better be coming. Don't trust the benefactor to follow through. Hmm. Haven't you worked with them before? Aye. And they've paid me well, when all goes right. They've always been the type to weigh their purse before anything. Who the fuck is the benefactor? Who the fuck is it? What is their deal? Overheard some crew talking about how they missed proper food back on land. Ungrateful bastard should have smacked them. <laughs> exactly. Your food is lovely and delicious and I, it's great. Ha, can't blame them though. We've been out here quite a while. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you should switch up the cooking. I... Uh... With what? <laughs> with what? <laughs> You're- I'm the one providing this guy with the cooking. Their complaints are fucking stupid. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with your food, it is amazing. I know that! As do they, I bet. <laughs> Still, they miss something, that's fair. <laughs> For me, it's the sea I miss. I mean, it's still here with us. <laughs> it's right below you. You can hug it if you wanted. <laughs> it's right there. I'm gonna call it a night. See you for breakfast. <sighs> I really wish I hadn't lost those people. Can't tend to the furnace if I'm yabbing to ya. Night. Okay. <laughs> it just makes me feel like I had a rough patch, and if I hadn't hit that rough patch, we'd be fucking smooth sailing now. Lost in thought. Our encounter with the wildlife has left me, uh, rather perturbed. We can only be thankful that none were harmed. Indeed. Uh, you got anything to say, Templeton? Captain, you needn't call me here so frequently. You receive your updates each day. You should focus on the crew or your unrest. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You see, you're a, you're, you're a good man. You don't make me question everything. <laughs> You've been loyal to me this whole time. Hmm, yeah. Flattering. <laughs> I do not deny that we are partners in this endeavor. I suppose to act, uh, I suppose to act of survival goes beyond a simple professional relationship. Mm -hmm, we're friends, buddy. I can't say that about everyone here. I'll see you in the morning. I can't say that for everyone here. Shaw. Heard the photographer call my songs poetry earlier. <laughs> Never thought about being a poet. I can't even write. <laughs> um. Mm, right, I've heard your music. Poetry's not. Ah, don't say that. <laughs> you don't have to write. You can just talk. Poetry's oral. They might as well sing at that point. <laughs> it's whatever, man. 
Are poets just lazy mu musicians? <laughs> Maybe. He stares at you before nodding to a sleeping bag. <sighs> damn it, damn it, damn it. I was doing so goddamn good. I was doing so goddamn good with them. Oh, god damn it. Oh, it makes me feel so bad. Mm, I was so close. So damn close. It makes me want to go back in time and change the horrible things I've done. <laughs> okay. Is there anybody else? Um, anybody in the tent? Yes. Got anything else to say? Evening. I found some old tickets in my luggage to a play I planned to see before we departed. Unfortunately, it was delayed due to several accidents. People were beginning to say the production was cursed. Oh. I never believed in curses, but after this expedition, well, <laughs> I hope you weren't going to see Inland Empire. <laughs> um, <laughs> perhaps you're cursed. Are you concerned about missing the play? <laughs> well, that's hardly a concern after all that's happened. <laughs> Though, uh, it was something I was excited for. It's a shame. Ah, oh, well. Captain, on evenings like this, my good friend Carolyn and I would often play chess by the fireside. Makes me wish I'd brought a board with me. It would have made for some light entertainment. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I would have not. I'd, that'd be nice. I just, I have to talk to these people, these stressful fucking people every day. That's all I do. <laughs> Indeed. Well, we can't turn back time, can we? Not unless we're Cher. <laughs> we'll just have to make do with what we have. Perhaps Mr. Templeton brought something along. He seems the jigsaw puzzle sort. He does, actually. <laughs> Could be. Uh, Cordell. Have you ever attended the theater, Captain? It is a luxury I've not indulged in quite some time. A good ten years, at least. Oh. You, you go to the theater? You don't seem the type. <laughs> um... Sure, I've seen a couple plays. Have you ever seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show? <laughs> that is good to know. That is my favorite one. <laughs> Perhaps we can trade experiences at some time. <laughs> Do you have any jokes in it that I don't know? <laughs> I'd love to integrate more. <laughs> Enjoying the craft of the theater, it is quite the escape, Captain. A shame that it is a luxury we cannot carry with us on the ice. Yeah. What do you got to say, Kurt? Evening, Shaw. We've been here quite a while, haven't we? Longest I've been on the ice, no doubt. <laughs> what was your previous record? Nowhere close. Not even a month. What? Really? If you stay this long and make it out. Apologies, Captain. Didn't mean to cast a dark cloud. Well, don't fucking cast it then. God damn it. <laughs> don't say that shit. We're making it out, man. We're all making you out of here. Um, I think that's it. I think we're fine for the day. I think we've actually got our meters up and everything. It's weird. It seems like, like there's hope or something. It's it's very strange. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? What do you mean? What are you doing to me? Why is it so cold? Why is it so cold? No. Oh. Crew member will develop freezing. I mean, freezing is like whatever. That's like a normal part of life, really. Don't you think? <laughs> I think it's normal. Mm. I think that this is fine. I think that this is perfectly fine. And somebody will get the phrasing, but like whatever. <laughs> but like whatever. Get me this stuff back. Get me this stuff back. Yes, yes, yes. Penguins, penguins. I know there's going to be a bunch of phrasing people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all phrasing, all phrasing. It's like whatever. Why are you all so fucking cold all the goddamn time? Jesus. <laughs> it's like whatever, man. The cold is just like the cold. It's just cold. Tell it to like be be chill. Not cold, just chill. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we're doing kind of good actually. Um that tells me I'm correct. I was correct to just to just keep trucking as best as I could. I don't know if everything will continue to be fine. I still wish that those people had not died. And that really does make me want to like just jump back to one of these first couple weeks and make different decisions, you know? But I'm not, I'm just gonna keep trucking and we'll, we'll see what develops. 
if if it just so goes that you know like three or four people died on the expedition and I make it out in the end, I, Yahtzee, whatever, you know that's that's fine, that's good. But anyway, I will leave you here for the day. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, then come back and see me next time. Goodbye.